Okay, we're back with this um rescue mission thingy. Now it's serious. Rex was the one who broke the monitor. Thought there must be some reason, so I kept it all to myself. Ask for details. Please continue. Once I finished talking to Professor Mishima, I left the monitor room and I vowed I would never go back there. But, but, I just couldn't bear it. I wanted to talk to the professor again. Even knowing I shouldn't, my legs carried me to the monitor room. But I wasn't able to enter. Sound like shattering ring out, so I immediately hid myself in the lobby. And I saw Reko leaving the monitor room with blood dripping from her hand. Okay, bitch, if you wanted to break it, I'm pretty sure there's like a million ways that weren't fucking punching it. <laughs> Her fist, it looked like there were some fragments stuck in it. I froze up with fear and Reckle passed by without me noticing. When I entered the monitor room afterward, Professor Mishima was- Reckle must have punched it with all her might and destroyed it. It's so stupid. But Reckle just went on keeping it a secret. Thinking about it, it was about then that she started acting strange. What is she hiding? Now telling the truth, what in the world? To confirm if she is, maybe I should ask a certain someone. Mr. Investigator Man. Cage, you did an investigation into the monitor, didn't you? Uh, if you think that's what's important, Sarah, I guess I'll talk. We have got literally nothing else to go on, so. Reko broke the monitor, your friendly policeman saw it too. Then why did you investigate? Why did you just tell us? What? It's okay. Got any epiphanies on the whole rescue thing yet? Sorry to bother you while you're hungered down talking, but the venomous stinger is gonna fire real soon. No way, Mew! Stop it, Wolf! Haha, <laughs> I keep my promises. Sarah, you still ain't got a plan? Give us a little more time. Not good, we have less time than I thought. Okay, so... Everybody else shut the fuck up. <laughs> About the time. But, um... What's I gonna say? If Kutaro hits the switch, will it go up to 100 kilograms? Because I'm okay with him dying. Do we have time to be talking about this? We don't have a choice. I can't trust Reko right now. We already asked KG. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I already said, didn't I? Deep breath, Sarah. <laughs> I love this game! You should just monitor. I got no memory of that at all. Quit this stupid culprit searching. You better not push one of us down in a panic. Ask for details. Professor Mishima's monitor, you say it really wasn't you? Obviously. I only found out it was broken way after. Now it's got it all wrong. This ain't funny. Is Reko telling the truth or is it all lies? Believe me, Sarah. Is there a reason she'd have to lie? I don't know. It's okay. Oh man, what are you bastards even doing? Time's way up, dumbasses. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> the jar will be fired shortly. H hold on! Five. No, Wolf! Smear me out! Ah, uh, no, I didn't! Four. Hey, you're kidding me! Hold on! Hit the button! Yeah. D don't be stupid! If I do that, I'll. Three. Help! Help me! Big Sister Sarah, Mr. Policeman! Yeah, you can't call out to Kutaro because he's a piece of shit. Kutaro, help me. One. Ah! <laughs> stop, stop! It hurts. I don't want to die. Oh my god. Kutaro, you're the worst piece of shit ever. So if you guys didn't catch on to what I was saying before, if you give Kutaro those coins, he fucking bails on us and we all die. He gets 200 tokens and leaves. So, that's how I feel about him. <laughs> Whoa, he got pricked. Couldn't save him, make you, Taro. Piece of shit. Hey, it's fine. I say it's natural to pick your own hide over a cheeky brat. Shut up, shut your goddamn mouth. You pure cheeky right now. Help. Don't give up yet, you bastards. There's still a chance left. What do you mean? Oh, that hurt my voice. There's five poison stingers in all, and it's set up to fire one every so often. But one stinger's worth of venom isn't that strong, so there's still a chance he can be saved. Of course, it was made to the maximum amount would be able to kill a grown man if need be. So whether a kiddo can survive too? That's a mystery yet to be answered. Damn it, you son of a bitch! Go to hell! Let's continue our discussion. We don't have time to take out our anger. Quit this 
stupid culprit searching. You better not push down one of us in a panic. Details, bitch. You say it really wasn't you? Obviously, I only found out it was broken way after. Now I've got it all wrong, this ain't funny. Believe me, Sarah. Is there a reason she'd have to lie? That's where we were. Um. I don't fucking know. Can we ask about somebody else? Ask somebody else? Kinda doesn't know anything. It's true, Sarah. Did I fuck up? I can't trust Rago right now. So naturally you would know. Huh? Sorry, but the time I was sleeping. Yeah, yeah, now why? I don't know. I really don't know what I was supposed to do. I'm gonna save over a different part so I can go back if I fuck up. Um. Is there a reason she'd have to lie? I don't know. I have to sneeze though. You know where we that go? It's true, Reko's the one who destroyed Professor Mijima's monitor. What? Reko, you should say it yourself already. Any further derailment's a waste of time. What are you spouting? There's no reason to hide it, isn't that right? What do you mean? While well, now is witnessing the incident hidden in the lobby, I witnessed it too, hidden at the prize exchange. <laughs> Nothing is private in this world. <laughs> I had a good spot to see everything. The whole conversation between Reko and Mishima. I get it. You got any other info? Just a bit. However, I imagine it won't be enough to satisfy you. Well, crap. Oh well. In addition, I must make a shameless request. Shameless. What's up? Tell me. Once we're done talking, I want you to destroy me. Don't be ridiculous! I shall not hide any information from you. I don't mean that! It's gonna make now cry! She'll never be able to see you again! That is the idea. Huh? Now resolved herself. She said she'd never come back here. She must walk on her own now. I don't want her resolve to be shaken. If I am gone, that temptation will disappear. I don't get it. Why would you? Don't you want to see her too? I do, and I don't want to die either. Die? The people who created me are quite must be quite brilliant. Even an emotion like fear is programmed into me. I feel it. The fear of death. This monitor is destroyed. I will disappear. I am very afraid of that. Then, for now it's resolved to come to nothing is even more terrifying to me than death. Please, Miss Reko. I can't point a weapon at now's dear teacher. Regardless, Reko granted Mishima's wish. She swung her fist with an unbearable look on her face. I know you wouldn't be able to hit it, like, but punching him in the face isn't better, is it? That's, like, more personal. Whatever. But she couldn't confess it to now. That, that's... Why didn't you tell me, Reko? So that I suspected you. Now, KG. What in the hell are you guys talking about? What? I seriously don't know anything about that. Who are you mistaking me for? Reko... I mean, do you see any scars like that on me? You think it's under my gloves or something? Here, I'll show you. Both gloves. My hands were clean with not a scratch on them. <laughs> Look at his face! He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's no wound. I love this so much. <laughs> like, what in the hell? But you were bleeding so much. They couldn't be that clean after just a few days. Were you guys seriously seeing a fake or something? A fake? There must be one, right? What do you mean? I knew it as soon as we went into the room of lies, but fine. It's not that complicated. Heavy wounds don't just suddenly heal up, do they? The Reku who destroyed Mishima's monitor was a fake. 
What's he saying? This is turning bizarre. Is there even a point in discussing this right now? The situation's a dead end anyhow. Aren't you feeling fidgety, Sarah? Can you carry on a discussion while this illogical mystery remains? I... Understood. This is important. Let's discuss the possibility of fake. I know what this is. Yeah, geez. At any rate, I didn't break the monitor. I don't know what this is about. Could the Rekka who broke the monitor have been someone else in disguise? With her tone and behavior, it could only be Rekka. Her voice is definitely Rekka's too. Mm. Whoever has a wound on their hand, there's your fake. But was there any reason for someone to pretend to be Rekko and visit Professor Mishima? Someone in disguise. After all, Rekko wears enough makeup that you could look like her if you wore it too. But Rekko said she was careful to store her clothes in her room so no one could steal them. None of us could obtain her clothes, so none of us could dress up like her. Dress up? Come to think of it, haven't I heard the words dress up doll recently? Nearly time for the second injection! My hand hurt. My tummy's rumbling. Dean! Damn it, Ranger! Oh, we just have to focus. Okay. Dress up, doll. I think we have to do so. Oh, God, sorry. I didn't even read his lines, so I hate him that much. <laughs> if she got a wound, it should be on the back of her hand. So there's somebody hiding a wound there. How about Ranger? Real Ranger, the dress-up doll. Yeah, he does have a glove on his hand. Come to think of it. So it was a guy who's got a similar frame to Rekko. And he could get the clothes. There is someone who could get Rekko's clothes. What? We can't get into Rekko's room, so of course we couldn't steal his spare clothes. But it's not us who brought the spares. The kidnappers prepared them, didn't they? Ah. That's right, Ranger Staffelin would have access to anyone's clothes. And the one with a similar frame, who could hide the wound with the glove is... You, Ranger, the dress-up doll. Can't be. Ranger was reckless fake? I get it, him being the dress-up doll. Wouldn't be so strange for him to have the ability to do perfect impersonations. Eh. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha 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 ha! So stupid. Ah, oh, I love pointless chatter. I'll tell you this, that Rekko was the real deal. What? <laughs> I would never wear the clothes of a living human. It just feels too good to wear the clothes of a poor human who died miserably. Would you even understand? No. Grr. Then why don't you show us what's under that glove? Sure thing. Satisfied now? No way. Ah, then sure enough, there wasn't a fake. We just wasted our time in vain. Not necessarily. Huh? Mr. Policeman started to figure out these floor masters. Huh? Floor masters? Isn't that like a workout machine? <laughs> uh? I can tell from Miley, too, what you got in common is. You can't lie about the important stuff. That's why you're touching on the topic, but cleverly talking around it. But I noticed. Notice what? Ranger, just now. You said that Rekka was the real deal. Why didn't you say there's no fake? Look at this beast. Oh, if you forgot to say that, I'm giving you another chance. Bastard. If you can't say it, that's the same as confessing. There is a fake Rekko. What the shit? <laughs> and it's relevant to this final attraction, too. Do you get it? You guys know what's supposed to happen? Huh? Where's your proof? Just my detective intuition. Pretty persuasive. I can feel it. The wound on Reko's hand is the only clue that AI Mishima left us. Feels like his intentions are shining some light on us all. KG, what the hell? But how could Reko's fake be related- Seriously, Sarah? Related to this attraction. See, look at him. He knows. Listen, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're being stupid. <laughs> Listen, Sarah. If the Rekko who injured her hand was real, then who's the fake? Huh? That was me. The Rekko with no injury? You don't mean. This time. The Rekko in front of us is the fake? Well, don't be stupid. 
Yeah, Ranger said that Reko who punched the monitor was real. So you having no wound on your hand means you have a fake. What, what does that- how does that figure? I can't imagine it either. The person in front of me is clearly Reko. Even so, the matter of the injury can't be passed off as just my imagination. If you think logically, this person has to be a fake. Can you prove the real- you're the real one, Reko? Hold the hell up, you're seriously suspecting me? <coughs> Jesus. Hang on. <clears throat> Sorry. Ooh. No matter how you look at it, I'm real, ain't I? Please, Sarah, don't confuse people with your weird ideas. We're friends, right? I thought I made a friend I could trust for the first time. Then give me proof. For goodness sake! <laughs> what? <laughs> Please quit this foolishness and don't bully... Don't you bully Reko anymore. If you want evidence, I'll give it as her brother. That is the real Reko. What's your proof? As of her brother by blood, I can't possibly be mistaken. KG been tricked by Ranger. What? <laughs> that Reko was real. This Reko is also real. That's what Ranger meant. This is a trap, I tell you. One, me one meant to ensnare Reko. And yet you, you're thinking of sacrificing Reko to save Gein, aren't you? Alice, listen to me, Sarah Cheetoween. I'm not panicking. I'm making a composed judgment. The disguise couldn't possibly fool my eyes. Her behavior, the slightest gestures, her personality, in every way, that is the real Reko. I've been with her for 20 years. Even, with, even through makeup, I can see her true identity. Please, believe me, Sarah. My throat is, like, tickly. I don't have anything to drink, either. Alice is staring me in the eye. He's not lying. Don't listen to him, Sarah. The point of this attraction must be to identify the fake and save Yeet. Otherwise, someone will absolutely have to be sacrificed. That's true. So, so, we just have to drop the fake. What? That's clearly what you're supposed to do. There's no time to hesitate. We can't save Gein unless we drop the fake there. Now, are you trying to frame me? That there is the real Reko. If she wore a fake... If she were a fake wearing a disguise, I, her brother, would know. This Reko is a fake. When are you saying she switched with a real Reko? Someone could have only taken Reko's place when she was alone. Was there any such time? There's another big problem. What's the real identity of the fake? Who cares about any of that? Um... Was there any such time Reko was alone? So the question is if she was ever alone while up and about. Hey, Miss Sarah, do you have any ideas? This web of happiness that broke apart earlier. I got this when I went with Reko into the Room of Lies. That's right, I remember. As soon as I took the web of happiness, the lights went out. Wah! Wah! I heard Reko- I heard Waluigi scream. When I left the room, I was only holding Reko's glove. For just a short time, Reko was by herself in the Room of Lies. And the Reko that left the room was still wearing the gloves on both hands. That's right. At the time she left the Room of Lies, Reko had already been replaced. There, bruh. The lie in the Room of Lies wasn't just the web of happiness. The kidnappers devised it as a trap that would set out a fake to confuse us. I get it. And there was more to that room than just putting out a dummy item. Say, Reko, shouldn't you go up soon? Or you don't mean to deny Miss Sarah, do you? No, Reko, disprove her, please. You're wrong, I'm not a fake. Ain't there still a huge-ass problem? If you're saying I'm a fake, then who the hell am I really? There's nine of us here, and even Ranger and Saplin. Someone took- If someone took someone else's place, there'd be have to be fewer people, right? True. Ranger, please tell us, is there any person on this floor we haven't met yet? Eh, got no <laughs> obligation to tell y'all that- There is not. No human you haven't- No human you haven't met will be making an appearance here. Can't be. Get it now. If nobody can take my place, that means... Then there's no goddamn way there's a fake. That can't be right. We were just a step away. But I don't know who this fake really is. Sarah Cheetowin. 
least you're doubting Alice. Not as if I believe her own brother could mistake her either. But no, wait, sure enough. Am I uncertain that maybe I've had a mu huge misunderstanding? Cage is bewildered too. If their identity is a person Kana and everyone has already met, then you don't mean it's one of the victims. Ridiculous. But but if we worry about this anymore, it's Dean Wilt. We need to drop the fake. Now. If I'm fake, Sarah could be fake too, you know. Huh? Didn't she say it earlier? Me and Sarah went into the room of lies together. Only I was replaced with a fake. How can you say that for sure now? I mean, now don't give in to her arguments. Sarah, have you chosen Gene over me? Damn it, damn it. I can't believe this shit. I trusted you. Don't be fooled now. She's trying to trick you so the two of you can push me down. You aren't Reko. You're a fake. Don't be absurd. That's the real Reko. Uh, uh. Now, please. It's riding on you. <laughs> the fake is appealing to now to protect yourself. In that case, we need to have a fair and square discussion. Reko, let's talk one-on-one. -on -one. Sarah, I challenge you. If I'm mistaken, cut me down with the blade of logic. Can I please save? Nope. Let's do it, Sarah. Open your clouded eyes. Here we go. Now I'm gonna make you admit that me right here, I'm the real Reko. This person is a fake. I've been with Alice since I was born. Yeah. No, you must have been apart for at least as long as Alice had been in prison. It's only two and a half years. Plenty of time for a person's thoughts and personality to change. And yet, Alice keeps saying you're no different. It's simply him who's convinced of that. Good. We split the stuff up equally. We didn't. Was it really equal? You took most of the clear chips we got in the room of lies, Reko. And after that, did you really share the clear chips with anyone else? Well, that green isn't like the real Reko. Good. Monitor thing ain't important. Maybe I did break. It's really important. No, there's a discrepancy between the wound Reko got on her hand and your memory. That's exactly why even Cage is adamant about there being two Recos. No, you'd be more important. Good. He hasn't said a word about me being a fake. Even if he can't lie, he can still keep quiet. Being tricked by That may be true, but he's not saying you're real either. That, because if he did, you guys wouldn't be scrambling. Has he ever given us a hint out of the kindness of his heart? I mean, that damn ring just wants us to be anxious, doubt each other, and die. Don't trust him. Listen, even when we say somebody we haven't met has replaced me as a faker, ain't that a contradiction in itself? No humans. Ain't that everybody? Humans. No, without there being someone we haven't met, the numbers don't line up. It's as simple as that. If the numbers don't line up, that's because there's no fake after all. That's not necessarily... How can you consider anything else? Besides, you heard KG telling us that Ranger and Saffron can't lie. Or did I fuck up? We not discuss this anymore. Are you trying to run away? No. But no matter how much we talk, you can't clearly tell me who this fake or whatever really is. Come on, say it already. Who am I? No humans we haven't met will appear. Humans? Why did she say human? Don't tell me you're trying to say that I'm not human. Yeah. Not human. It's an unthinkable, absurd idea. But something lodged itself in my head. I am an AI program of cosmic. The AIs are basically super detailed reproductions. In fact, they're AIs with hard slots. One of the purposes of these dolls were made for his mental relief. Allow me to show you a wonderful function that will make you feel even closer to stall. If... If you could combine an artificial intelligence with a doll, you could create a completely perfect face. Huh? Sedera, so, settle down. Do you know what you're saying? I was... I was always wondering. Why did something like an AI of Professor Mishima even exist? Why were there dolls made to recreate us in perfect detail? Maybe this facility, the kidnappers organization, is making doll copies of humans. Isn't that horrifying as hell? I hope there's no, like, DNA in them or anything. Oh. Well, you've lost your marble, Sarah. A doll that looks just like Reko, and an AI that recreates Reko's personality. The result of combining those two things is an imposter Reko. Are you being serious, Sarah Chidoween? <laughs> I am. That's how she could fool even her own brother. She's not someone else impersonating her. She's a duplicate. Your clans are an utter mess. They're not, though. Guys, Sarah's lost her cool. We should drop this whole thing. 
<laughs> Everyone. Eyes full of doubt, despairing looks. Such was the reaction to my shaking conclusion. Me, who was entrusted all our hopes. No dice, huh? I wasn't able to persuade everyone. Keen, I couldn't. I couldn't save you. Now that's interesting. Huh? It's a bold idea. The kind of absurd conclusion only you could come to, Sarah. I'll take your word for it. I'm on board with this. KG. Mr. Policeman's ever your ally, Sarah. Now. <laughs> Jeez, nothing for it. I can't think of any other way to break the deadlock. Listen, Gein's at his limit. This is the end. We have to decide. Stop acting like you give a shit. Sarah, give us some proof that reckless a doll with artificial intelligence. Done. I already know how to do it. Let's get this I'll sum it up simply. The Reko who broke Mishima's monitor was real. And in the room of lies, the real and fake Reko got swapped. So this Reko is a fake. And you infer she's actually a doll copy. But she won't recognize it. It's true, Professor- uh, It's true, Professor Mishima's AI was perfect. I can imagine it was the real professor there. Perfectly replicating a human is impossible. There absolutely must be a difference somewhere. No proof that I'm human, alright. What do you want? I'll do anything. Why? Why does the AI of Mishima have any memory of us, I wonder? Naturally, the personalities of the AIs are based on real people's, right? Real humans change in personality and gain memories. The AIs should need updating, too. Okay. I'll prove that I'm human, alright? What do you want? I'll do anything. Tell me something a machine or a doll definitely couldn't do, and I'll do it with ease. I'll open your eyes, Sarah. What? Understood. Let me make a request. Sing me a song. Song, okay, got it. Singing it for my life, so open those ears. The song echoes throughout the room. It's, yeah. In it, I sense a certain feeling. I want you to believe me. How's that? This is a big hit. I only play a, I play at concerts. Samurai Ona. Ona? Why can't I? I've never heard a song from Reckless Band, so I can com can't compare her singing to the real deal. Could a doll perform vocals with such emotion? Did I fuck up? The second dart will be fired shortly. Aw, oh, looks like he didn't make it. Did I seriously? Please stop it already! Five. Did I actually fuck up? Four. Ranger, I'll take his place! You can't. Worst case scenario, both of you. Not like you've been given that freedom. Only Kyutaro has the privilege, remember? Did I really fuck up? Oh no! Kyutaro, please. Two. One. I'm pressing. Stop, Kyutaro! Pressing the switch. Did he do it? Ah. Huh? Hit the kiddo dead on after all. You didn't press the switch, you draw. Ah. My, my arm won't move. Ah. Stop it, please. Ranger, when is this attraction going to end? When someone's sacrificed. Kitaro, one of the three idiot girls. Or else when all the stingers fire, it'll end. Sarah, there's an antidote in the medical office. How do you know this? An antidote? This Rikudo giant scorpion ranger mentioned. From the looks of it, his venom has a pretty delayed effect. Definitely saw an antidote for the same scorpion venom in the me medical office. We can just end this attraction quick. Haha. <laughs> Then you might have time to cure him. What an idea to get in your head. I swear to god, I don't remember this happening the first time I played. <laughs> the second part, I'm like, did I fuck up? It's all riding on you, Sarah. It always is. <laughs> I refuse to give up. Have I finally found it? The discrepancy, other than the injury on her hand. The borderline between the fake and the real. Reko, let me just confirm one thing. What is it? This Samurai Ona song. Is that a song by your band? Obviously, I only sing my own song. The ultimate song. Named for my old band, Samurai Yaiba. Yep. Alice, you noticed. Huh? Please read this. What's that scrap of paper? This is... An article on Samurai Yaiba's breakup? To be stupid, of course I remember this. It's from after Alice was arrested. Yes, but what you don't remember are the wounds that just left on your heart. My heart? Reko, Alice's arrest came as a shock to you. So much so that you couldn't sing your band's songs anymore. I couldn't sing? Read it, please. It says right in the article. Alice was a member in your previous band, right? Indeed. 
That's why you couldn't do it anymore. Reko couldn't sing songs that reminded her of her brother. And yet you proudly sang for me a song from your old band. What's the meaning of this? This, this is what Ranger said. AI memories are updated every six months and personality every three years. And only memory could be brought up to date at any time. So I'm sure you do have the memory of your band's breakup. But your personality only got refreshed once every three years. If the last update was over two and a half years ago then, it would be before my murder case. That's right. Before the incident that made Reko unable to sing, forcing the band to break up. Stop it! In other words, your personality remains the time capsule of Reko Yabasame from three years ago. their death. My pain. All of us helping each other. Was it all a program? Am I a fake? Kinda. Ah, yep. You're a fake. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't you what the fuck? <laughs> like hell. That can't be right. It ain't possible. Once you say that shit, I just gotta admit it, don't I? What else did you want me to do? The concept of the room of lies was once you see through it, it's over, okay? I I'm still half believing that Reko was a doll. Reko, no, the fake, was a ruse meant to deceive us? Mm, wouldn't quite say that. The fake just really wants you to just really think she's Reko. That's what a copy is. Then I'm really... I'll explain it for you. First up, you bastards reasoned right. It was... It was the real Reko who broke Kazumi Mishima's want monitor. So Kutaro didn't hit the button even after the second switch. Oh. I didn't realize how much I hated him until this moment. Fine. Seems cagey and now witness it. <clears throat> Day broke and the real Reko went with Sarah into the room of lies. Sensing danger, Sarah grabbed the real Reko's hand, but unfortunately Reko got caught. And the one who came out was the fake Reko. After that, it was the fake waltzing around, but there were two problems. First was that the memory updates hadn't caught up. Since the real Reko came to the Room of Lies less than a day after breaking the Mishima monitor, the memory of her smashing it never got put in. Second was that her last personality update was two years and eight months ago. Seems like her personality changed a fair bit from the shock of her brother Alice's arrest. Ah oh well, not much you can do about that stuff. Where's the real Reko? Who can say? Try the Room of Lies? If you did anything to her, I'll kill you. Aw. Already only concerned for the real one. Makes me feel bad for the fake Reko here. Right? Ugh. Hey, you solved it, right? Hurry. Yes, yes, hurry up. Since it's a fake Reko, I'm sure you can push her without regrets. Th that. Wait, wait a sec. I'm alive too. I don't want to die. Doesn't feel good. Why is she able to cry too? She's basically a human at this point. Pretty much. Shut up, so. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, but I hate it, so. Hmm. Help me, guys. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> That's cold. Is this part of the emotion program, too? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Awful, awful. Isn't this just too cruel? If she has a heart and feelings, she's no different from a human. She's not fake at all. She's another Reko. She's alive. If you think so, just sacrifice Keen. Sarah, make it quick. It's just a doll, you hear? It can't be more important than a real human. Oh, what now? What do I do? Sarah, stop it. I, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> I just have to make a decision. We're gonna give her a one, Sarah, and a two. Stop. Three. Forgive me, Sarah! I pushed her to the edge. The next one will be the last. Thanks, now. Now decided to handle it for us. <laughs> now. <sighs> no more. 
You don't have to shoulder anymore, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Gin and Kutaros for Saints Unlocked. Gin, Gin, hurry, get the antidote. I'll get it now. Just wait, Yeet, hold on. Why wouldn't you take him with you? Hey, Ranger! Was that Reko really definitely a fake? You're not lying, are you? Look at the corpse and you'll be able to tell. As if I could look at Reko's corpse. We should probably confirm. Let's look. I look down at the fallen Reko. Oh. <laughs> yeah. In terms of appearance, she looked absolutely real. A human killed by impalement. An ally who just wanted to live. There's no blood. Huh? Yes, I see. Sure enough, if she was a doll. But then where's the real Reko? Ranger, where's the real- Ranger and Sapphire and Honor have vanished. Group of lies, not good. Reko. Callus is off running. Yeah, thanks back into place. Gein, stay with us, Gein. Why didn't- Don't die, Gein. Kid, she's bringing an antidote. It'll be better soon. Why didn't they take him with the- Like, Gein. Don't shake him. What is that? Say something, Gein. Gein! Sorry, meow. Oh my god! Good boy. Gein! Gein! Sarah, let's go find Reko. Gein will be fine with the antidote. I mean, believe in the policeman. We're gonna search for Reko. She's right, Sarah. You get going. No, but seriously, why didn't they take Gein to get the antidote? Like, instead of going, like, back and forth, you'd literally only have to go there. Whatever, it's fake ass, fakey, fake game. <laughs> Reko, where's Reko? Hellis, please calm down. Whoa, well, you're in a real hurry, huh? How'd you get here first? You wanna meet Reko that badly, you bastard. Why are you saying it like that? Talk, you damn doll. Eh? <laughs> Fine, I'll let you meet her. Really? But first, I got a quiz for you. What's the current status of Reko Yabusame? <laughs> what are you talking about? One, long since dead. Two, dead from a trap in this room. Three, watching over all y'all's severed head. Pick one. Huh? What is he saying? Don't be ridiculous. Stop it, stop it. I can't believe that. I can't. Reko wouldn't die so easily. Humans are all so fragile, you know? Aren't our rights to fallen? I finally got it. They really are, aren't they? With that, Saplin appeared, and her hands was... Was... Reko. Head. Huh? Are you kidding me? Inconceivable, such blatant lies. All lies. I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you! Haha, <laughs> you're scaring me, Alice. You, no matter what. If you wanted that bad, have her. Catch. What a dick. Reko. Ah, Reko! What the fuck is this? What? So, the first time I saw this, I'm like, oh, you know, it's like one of those, like, splattering. Not like a, like a paint bomb, you know? A loud one, like something popping. Sorry, Reko's collar might have exploded. Hmm? You okay? Nope. You got a big hole in your stomach. I'm pretty sure this would have killed him instantly. Like, but fine. Hey, Alice! Aw, oh, that's not great. You're gonna die, huh? Don't joke with me, this, this! Reko. What? Reko. Ah, ah. No, Alice, Alice. Help, please treat him, Savlin. There's no treatment for like most of my organs are fucking blown up. Reko! Alice, why did this happen? So my mind went blank, I heard footsteps approach. Hey! <laughs> bro! Reko? You dumbass, bro, don't die on me! Is this like 
I'm getting whiplash. <laughs> Open your eyes, bro. It's me, it's Rego. I'm alive, bro. I looked into the center of the room and saw an open pillar of sorts. Secret option number five, or whatever. <laughs> Probably four? I don't know. Don't tell me, Rekko was in there from the start. Well, this is the room of lies. The correct answer to the quiz was, the real Rekko is alive and tied up. Didn't even notice it was a doll's head. Goes to show how much a sibling bond is worth. Ha 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 ha! That's underhanded. Huh? The moment it exploded, the trap should have been over with. If he'd released me right away, I could have at least told him I was alive. Huh? What he was thinking doesn't change the that he was gonna die, does it? It changes everything. It's totally different, damn it. Damn heartless doll. That's it. I'm gonna kill you. No. Huh? Hey, you should know if you kill a floor master, y'all all y'all are all gonna die. I can't handle y'all. <sighs> We're being tested as floor masters too. Get me. You think I give a shit? I go start running at Ranger. Well, that's only if you beat me anyhow. Die! Ugh. Ooh, ooh. You just got shot in your head. Huh? A gun. Why? Yeah. You've stepped out of line, real Ranger. I have no more use for you. That's why. What the hell is going on? It's about right. Fix me already, Dad. Unfortunately, Rio Ranger, this is farewell. What are you saying? I don't wanna. Do you hate me or something? Wasn't I your greatest masterpiece, Dad? That is in the past. Why do you think you are the most human of the dolls I've created? Because you put your affection into me most. Wrong. It was jealousy. I implanted in your emotion program an extensive sense of inferi inferiority and hatred of humans. It's just a uh, full metal alchemist. Whatever episode that was. Humans have it nice. I envy humans. Why am I a doll? What's so great about humans? And so on. With that complex, you could never overcome. You burned with deep jealousy and truly qualified as human. This convinced me that it is negative emotions that make a human. That's... Yet, for the burning flames of jealousy to turn one into a monster, that is just as human. You are an imped imp impediment? That- <laughs> the piano was just like, dong, you're stupid. You are an impediment to the plan, a failure. Fail? You're- and he just kicks her head away. Him. God damn it. <laughs> his head, his head. He's just so cute. I can't I can't help it. I would do my best. Well then, I apologize you had to witness such unsightliness, everyone. I invite you now again to the main game. This time card data for the key master sacrifice sage and commoner has been blocked. This has been done at random and I imagine some of you may be dissatisfied with your role. In this case, you may use a trading function to forcibly swap cards with another. <clears throat> However, you must use the me tokens you have earned in order to utilize this function. The trust tokens you've earned up to this point will be essential in deciding the battle. What the hell? Just who are you guys? Ah! I am the receptionist doll. No, let us do away with the tedious set dressing. I am Gashu Sato. A researcher into negative emotions. Does that last name ring a bell? Now let the main game begin. Kai Sato. Gashu Sato. Sato. Ugh. You up? Dick. Look at how tiny his head is. <laughs> He's got like the head shrinking thing. What movie is that from? Is it a movie? Is it a TV show? I don't know. Thought I was gonna die now. Sorry, the switch. Yeah, you could have hit it and then we would have had a lot more time. Maybe. You're a big chicken wolf. <laughs> Sorry. We could have at least asked, like, if Qtaro hits the switch, can we? You know what I mean? Will it still be 35? 0.5 kilograms. It's fine, meow. I'm alive, wolf. Thanks to Sarah. Look at him, oh my god, his shoes have toe beams. His shoes have toe beams. Skin. Thanks. Yeah, so he would have abandoned us, and he doesn't care if Gin dies, really. Yeah. 
Thanks, Mia. Get away from him. Get your hands off my butt. <laughs> Chapter 2, Part 1 ended. Are you guys excited? Are you happy? How are your emotions? Hey, how you doing? I'm gonna take you on a stroll down memory lane. Recap the story so far. Be grateful, you bastard. Um, we're not actually gonna do this because it's time for us to leave. I'll see you in the next one. Wait, should I react to something? Um... Alice is dead. And that's how I feel about that. Bye!